Congratulations, Heidi. Well done. Tato. Welcome to the Lumberjack of the Week Awards. So I'll start off with a big shout out to Sonia Smith for her awesome attitude and commitment to learning. Dine Natur for the hard work and effort she has put into her home learning. Riley Piggin for fantastic attitude and commitment to home learning. Gabby Mirabetti for his hard work and effort he has put into his home learning. Lila Sixtus for putting in a great effort with her home learning. Are we seeing the theme? Felix Hyde, for his commitment to learning about World War I and World War II. Amelia Mocha. Motokaha ki afina i tena, i tena o tato, metokaha ki te kite toirahia o pukenga Google Classroom. Meinga, meinga. Apologies for my pronunciation. Uh, Peter McDonald for excellent work habits and diligence completing his mathematics. On you, Peter. Phoenix Williams for her wonderful home learning creations on Google Classroom. Out of her, Phoenix. Data Nalgar for enthusiasm and sharing all of his great mahi from home. Karahi. Jessica Bannon for her dedication to all online learning tasks and writing a well crafted speech. Car pie, Jessica. Jade Butcher for being a cheerful and effervescent student and helping to make a green whanau bubble a happy place to be. Aria Allen for her hard work and effort she has put into her home learning. Hannah Rowe, finding creative ways to keep her brain active and thriving during home learning. Jacob Coven for consistent effort in home learning and knowing what works best for himself as a learner. A learner. Shay McGibbon Carr for showing creative and resilient ways of getting your learning done. Annabelle Hunter for excellent work habits and diligence in completing her home learning. And Cameron Rushton for consistent dedication to her home learning and going above and beyond with her Anzac wreath. Thank you very much. I'm a lumberjack and I'm all right.
following students are receiving swimming badges because they did really well at our school swimming sports and they were supposed to represent BIS but unfortunately it was cancelled. Um, so congratulations to Charlotte, Lily and Jessica from Fano 2, Ryan from Fano 5, Logan from Fano 5, Ella from Fano 6, Izzy from Fano 10, Miles from Fano 11, Maya from Fano 13, Olivia and Solomon from Fano 16, and Ethan from Fano 26. We know you would have done really well in the swimming sports and represented BIS with pride, but unfortunately it was cancelled. So congratulations. Today's story is 100 Most Dangerous Things on the Planet. However, these are very, very dangerous creatures, so watch out for them. The Manaki Tanga badges for this week are Rebecca Strange, Gabby Murray Beatty, Emma Illingworth, Lawrence Carter, and Ashton Fraser. Well done to you guys and the rest of you. Watch out for them because they are very dangerous. Kakite. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter. Go just make them drop dead, you a killer. Shower you with all my attention. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Stay in the kitchen cooking up, catch your own breath. Raising you when I create, you're my muse. The kind of smile that makes the news. Can't nobody throw shade on your name in these streets. Triple threat, you a boss, you a bank, you a beast. You make it easy to choose. You got a mean touch, you can't refuse. No, I can't refuse it. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter. Go just make them drop dead, you a killer. Shower you with all yeah, these are my only intentions Stay in the Now here we go, dropping science, dropping it all over Like bumping around the town like when you're driving a Range Rover Expanding the horizon, yeah. expanding the parameters G'day, we're here with your friendly mad scientist today We're here to talk about fair testing Fair testing is crucial for science. Over the last four weeks, you should have come up with a question to answer. So whether it was, which brand of candle burns the quickest? Which type of fruit goes the moldiest or goes rotten the quickest? Or the experiment I'm about to show you, which plant will grow the quickest with the greater or lesser amount of water? With this experiment we have here, we have two plants. These plants are exactly the same. They have the exact same pot. They have the exact same soil inside them. These are your constant variables. Where you place them and the same amount of sunlight they get, that is a constant variable, okay? So also I was mentioning a dependent variable. This is what you actually measure within your experiment. So what we are going to measure in this experiment is how high each plant will grow by the time we have finished with our experiment. So with your test, you could be measuring the distance something travels along the floor, or your measure could be something that you're counting within your experiment, or timing. Everything such as measuring, counting, timing, all is a dependent variable what you're measuring through your experiment. Right, so we also have the last final component of our experiment which is an independent variable. This is the item that you are testing with in the experiment. This is what you want to find out with your question. In this experiment we are going to test how much water 
will be important for how quickly these plants grow. So this is our independent variable. In one beaker we have 150 mils, in this beaker we have 300 mils. So each week we will be putting in this plant 150 mils, and in this plant 300 mils. This is our independent variable that we are changing in the experiment and what we want to find out which plant grows better with which amount of water. We've got to conduct these experiments to prove or disprove your question that you have come up with. The last thing of all is your logbook. It is very important. This is the logbook. Remember, please, every bit of information you collect from your experiment please put into your logbook or write it down on a piece of paper. Every bit of your planning, every bit of your thinking, knowledge, results, everything that you get out of your experiment, your measuring of your plants, of your experiment, however you do it, make sure that you put it down in your logbook. Very important so that the scientists who are coming to mark your work can understand what you are thinking and where your experiment has gone and see if you have answered your question. Get into your science, guys. Woohoo! This week's word is wariwari. Now in English, wariwari means forgot. In English you would say, I forgot to wash my hands. In te reo Māori, you would say, I wariwari au ki te roi o kuringa. Now, in this time, don't forget to wash your hands. Ko wa wariwari ki te roi o ringa. Wariwari. Forgot. Today I thought we'd get up and have a little bit of a kore kore. So we're going to start learning a routine that we can do together when we get back to school. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to be teaching some kupu as we go through as well. So the first word that we're going to learn is takahia and it means to stamp. So the first action is takahia. The second action is paki. So we clap our hands together, paki. So takahia paki. The third word is piti. And in this case we're repeating it, so it's piti piti. And piti means beat. So we're going to go takahia paki te piti piti paki. Again, takahia paki te piti piti paki. Now, each part of this starts the same. So that part there doesn't change through each routine and we'll do a routine a week. 
The special bit that changes is this word here. So this week we're going to learn pa. So pa means to touch. In this case we repeat it, so it's pa pa. Paka hia paki te pi ti pi ti paki ki te pa pa. And then we end the same way. Paki te pi ti pi ti paki. Again those words. Taka hia paki piti pa pa. So we're going to go through the whole lot two times. Ready? Go. Taka hia paki te pi ti pi ti paki ki te pa pa paki te pi ti pi ti paki. Taka hia paki te pi ti pi ti paki ki te pa pa paki te pi ti pi ti paki. Tune in next week for the next part of the routine. Aumaru tato.